This is KFDX-TV in Wichita Falls. There's plenty of ways to prove yourself in Texas, but there's no higher honor News than to be events, named the, the best Chate cowboy Texas or a member of the best Oklahoma. ranch in the state. This is ranch News Center 13. 13 of the largest spreads in Texas competed in the second Good annual evening. Texas Thank Ranch Roundup here at in this Wichita hour, Falls. Virtually all of Just Chickasha, how big Oklahoma are the 13 largest water. ranches in the Chickasha state? Has been without they cover more than 2 million acres, when which is nearly half the area of New Jersey. The Cowboys come from every part of the state, and they come to win. today. I think the ranch is a whole size to work with. Yeah, water it's again. Kind of Officials glamorous tell New Center 3 that it will take Texas three days for so city water lines to the Fort Cobb Reservoir to come back up In addition to the pressure. rodeo events, However, there's a ranch food cook -off featuring most food right off the range, ranch queen contest, talent competition, and lots of country a music. But the main attraction is the cowboy competition, went down which is really just a regular day's chores for a cowboy. No, we didn't do no training. It's stuff that we're doing, you know, like a training. And junior high school. The bond issue failed by a margin of slightly less than three to one. And then the and the bond, and the bond, 368 and voted against for a total Texas of exactly 500 votes cast. Henry had a junior Jared high school Daniel principal, Eddie Shearer, Guthrie, told Texas, News Center 3 that he was the best hurt, cowboy. end quote, by the bond's state, failure. He said he did not governor. know what course of Wichita action the Henrietta Texas, School Board would Matthews take next. If the News. bond had passed, it would have been a 15% increase in ad valorem taxes. Eleven weeks after the Israelis invaded Lebanon, the Palestinian Liberation Organization is leaving Beirut. Some 450 guerrillas led for Cyprus today, a stop on the way to Jordan and Iraq. NBC's Vic Aiken reports that the total migration will take two weeks. The French troop carrier Dive, escorted by an Israeli gunboat, eased down the Lebanese coast. Vic Aiken, NBC News, West Beirut. The Palestinian guerrillas gathered at the Beirut Municipal Stadium. Soldiers danced and drank and said goodbye to comrades and often fired their guns into the air. The guerrillas viewed their departure as a political victory. They eventually boarded a large ferry under the watchful eyes of the French peacekeeping forces. Now much has been said of how the PLO is leaving Beirut, but little of exactly where those thousands of PLO troops are going. Tomorrow, PLO troops will head for Iraq and Jordan. However, on Monday, PLO troops will, have, uh, will be moving to Tunisia. On Tuesday, they'll be going to Oman and South Yemen. On Wednesday, to Syria. And on September the 2nd and 3rd, they'll be going to Algeria and the Sudan. In Washington, there is a movement, a need to press the current situation, to find a permanent answer for the Palestinian question. NBC's Fred Francis reports that there are plans to make advantage of the current diplomacies. Mideast analysts at the State Department are optimistic that though the conflict in Lebanon is ongoing, Fred Francis, NBC News, at the State Department. With the gas this balloon could hold, you could take 7,000... Boy, have I got new, good news for you for tomorrow. It's going to be a nice day. We'll tell you about the rest of the United States and the world in just a moment. Longhorn Chevrolet has your Camaro and it... Quality protection. Ask for it. Welcome to the weather. Welcome temperatures in Idaho. I don't know if they like hot weather and record-setting temperatures. Pocatello, Idaho, is for tomorrow. Monday, fair and hot. High 97 to 100. Winds light and southerly. Well, Jack, they haven't blamed it necessarily on the weather, but I understand uh, they had a, a plane crash out in New Mexico today. That's true. Indeed, they did. They had a plane crash, but they are not sure whether it does have anything to do with the weather. An Air Force F-4 fighter with two people on board crashed today during a training mission over southern New Mexico. A spokesman at Holloman Air Force Base says there were some survivors, but further details are still unavailable. This weekend, the Wichita Falls Gun and Knife Show is being held at the Downtown Activity Center. Now, besides weapons, there are many collectibles from the old West. Enjoy them all on More Real People. Another terrorist bomb exploded today in Paris. This bomb killed a police bomb disposal expert and wounded two other officers. Authorities believe the bomb was intended for an American diplomat who was living next door to the explosion site. What is also a question, though, is who did it? An anonymous telephone caller said the outlaw terrorist group Direct Action was behind the bomb, but another call claimed the blast is the work of a Lebanese terrorist group. Police say they have never heard of them. The Mexican peso was a little stronger against the U.S. dollar today. Before Mexico devalued its peso, pesos were worth about 47 to the dollar. Last Thursday, pesos ran 130 to the dollar, but it's better today. 
today. Pesos are running between 80 and 100 to the dollar, and since the devaluation, prices have doubled for Mexican consumers. But it's also been a boon for Americans who shop over the border. Bankers said yesterday's agreements to delay payments of Mexico's foreign debts will help stabilize the peso. Sixteen Iranians who were involved in a riot at Southern Methodist University last month may be kicked out of the country. Yesterday, the 16 pleaded guilty to charges that they did not carry their alien registration cards. All have been fined $100 each for that. Fourteen of those arrested were involved in a riot that broke out between pro and anti Khomeini supporters on July the 30th. And aide to Governor Bill Clement says he thinks the governor will call a special session of the legislature to look at the unemployment problem in Texas. Record unemployment levels are costing the state millions in new unemployment payments. Now this supply and sudden drain rather has gutted the state's unemployment trust fund. In Wichita Falls, unemployment is decreasing. Unemployment in June fell to 6.3 percent. It was 8.4 percent rather in June. Now that means about 1,500 more people are now working in the city. There is some good news for West Texas wheat farmers. The Agriculture Department has changed its mind. The USDA now says it will increase disaster payments to West Texas grain farmers who lost crops in 1981. The payments will be about a dollar a bushel higher than first reported. Braniff Airlines says it wants permission to get rid of its pension funds. While hundreds of creditors prepare to pick over the dead airline's bones, Braniff Air officials rather say that they have more obligations than they have money to meet them. Braniff Vice President Sam Coates said Braniff has asked a federal bankruptcy judge to decide how to kill pension plans and distribute the money to vested employees. Officials insist still they're trying to reorganize and fly again. American airline pilots have a new two-year contract. The pilots and the airline have reached an agreement, but the agreement must be approved by the union. The Dallas-based airline pilots have been working without a contract since October of last year. There's a new wholesale of business in Texas. Call 1-800-252-TIPS and support your local Crime Stoppers program. The great Texas Ranch Roundup winds down, and Bill Bird may have found another job. All the sports are coming up on page four. Sometime. Bottom line price. The second annual Texas Ranch Roundup is just finishing up out at the Wichita Mounted Patrol Arena. The top three ranches right now who are battling it out for first place are the Moorhead Ranch. Besides all the cooking, riding, and the queen contest at the Texas Ranch Roundup today, there was a special guest, Sarah Purcell of the NBC series Real People. And Sydney Bradford had a chance to visit with her as she got a taste of ranch life in Texas. Sarah Purcell is one of the five co-hosts of the NBC show Real People. Oh, I'm Cindy Bradford, New Center 3. Only on more Real People. An independent poll says that Oklahoma Governor Nye is leading the state's gubernatorial race over two Republicans who want his job. Ruddock Research International did the survey. The Tulsa-based research firm also asked Oklahomans about paramutual betting. 56% say that they would vote in favor of the betting. 34% were against it. 10% said they weren't sure. A female Soviet cosmonaut was teasingly handed an apron today while working at the Salyut 7 space station. However, Svetlana Savitskava won't be doing any cooking. She and her two fellow, and we might add male, cosmonauts were shown today on Soviet national television. They will be conducting scientific experiments for a week aboard the craft. One former American astronaut is not doing as well. James Irwin, who flew in the 1971 Apollo moon mission, was injured while climbing Mount Ararat in eastern Turkey. Irwin was part of an unsuccessful expedition to find any remains of Noah's Ark. Can you name a light beer with... So it looks as if we really don't have a good rain chance, Jack, uh, until Wednesday night or Thursday, but temperatures are a little lower. Mm -hmm. Well, it was definitely hot in Beirut today as the PLO continued to evacuate from Beirut. NBC is now planning a special report coming up next. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. This is KFTX-TV in Wichita Falls. News events that shape North Texas and Southern Oklahoma. 
This is News Center 3. Good evening and thank you for joining us. This afternoon, President Reagan got an unwelcome cable from Israel. The cable started Dear Ron, but ended with Prime Minister Menachem Begin telling the President that Israel rejects Reagan's Mideast peace plan. Israel says it's going to put new settlements in on Israeli-occupied territory. They say they've been planning that move for some time. That comes only four days after President Reagan called for a freeze on such settlements as part of his new peace plan. NBC's Martin Fletcher says the new settlements would act as buffer zones to protect Israel. The Israeli government insisted its decision to okay the eight new settlements had nothing to do with President Reagan's peace proposals. And Martin Fletcher, NBC News, Tel Aviv. Besides the Israelis, another tough party to sell on the Reagan peace plan is the Palestinians, of course. They are still not saying what they think about the plan. But whatever they think will be important to Arab leaders who are meeting tomorrow in Morocco. NBC's Jim Bitterman has more. In the skies over the ancient Moroccan city of Fez, Jim Bitterman, NBC News, Fez, Morocco. For many Americans, Labor Day is going to be the last day to relax, but for millions of other Americans, it will be just another day without work. Irving R. Levine reports that such was a point to be taken advantage of today by major labor leaders. A parade to set the tone for the Labor Day weekend. Irving R. Levine, NBC News, Washington. The national unemployment average this Labor Day weekend is now at 9.8 percent. That is nearly 3 percent higher than the unemployment average currently in Texas. In figures released by the Texas Employment Commission this Friday, unemployment in August stood at 7 percent. That is down from 7.3 percent in July. And though Texas is better than the national average now, it is worse than Texas average last year at this time of 5.8 percent. Manual to and Jack's Electric Ringling. If you have stepped outside at all tonight, the weather has been perfect and cool. And Don, is this going to hold up as I asked you last night? It's going to hold up tonight and tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I don't really think we'll see much of a change until Thursday night or Friday. Weather Center 3 is next. Hang in. At Homestead Mobile Homes, or Tuesday, fair and mild, high 93 to 96 degrees. I think we can see a change by Friday. We might get some rain. Jack, I understand there's a show going on about the sun in town today. Indeed, there is a show about the sun, and the sun is something that usually when it's hot is the only time we focus attention on it. But it affects our weather every day, and it truly affects our daily lives. Today, at the Wichita Falls Museum and Art Center, the sun was the topic as it presented Skyfire. That's a show that dealt mainly with the sun. New Center 3 spoke with the operator of the planetarium, Bruce Gardner. The sun is the source of all the energy that fuels life on Earth, you know. All life on Earth gets its energy from plants, which get their energy from the sun. And for all of you stargazers, September the 23rd begins the fall equinox, and on that date, at 8.46 in the morning, the sun will cross its equator as it moves southward. Federal officials in Laredo, Texas say an officer noticed a man acting nervous, so he suggested the customs officials check his car. They did. They found more than 25 pounds of cocaine. The man, identified only as a Columbia national, was arrested. The cocaine is worth an estimated eight and a half million dollars. Some people would have you to believe how good it tastes. Investigators in Los Angeles are still trying to determine the cause of yesterday's apartment building fire. Nineteen people died in that fire. Its latest victim died late last night in a hospital, a 14-month-old baby. A fire department official says there is no indication now, though, that the blaze was deliberately set. Mexico's nationalized banks open for business, not so usual tomorrow. Mexico has a new currency exchange system that slashes the value of the U.S. dollar. NBC's Dan Molina says all of this is in part to prevent a panic. Mexico's banks have now been closed for five days. Dan Molina, NBC News, Mexico City. Millions of Americans are still on the nation's highways and freeways this Labor Day weekend. The holiday of death toll in Texas is up to 27 now, but the Texas Department of Public Safety predicts that 20 more than that will die by midnight tomorrow. So far, all of the deaths have come in single fatality accidents. In Oklahoma, four people have died in traffic accidents. The Associated Press says more trouble may be brewing in Poland. An underground solidarity bulletin is calling on workers in southwestern Poland to prepare for a general strike. It described last week's anti-government demonstrations as a, quote, great moral victory, end quote. Today, 4,000 people jammed a Lubin church to say mass for two workers killed by police during those riots. 
In Houston, a NASA spokesman says scientists from West Germany and Japan will use the next three space shuttle missions to study the effects of weightlessness in space. A West German scientist is to have experiments aboard two flights, and a Japanese scientist is to have an experiment on another. Your Dodge dealer says let's talk clearly.